part of our safety protocols. We all have our radios. Uh, she's going to be giving a presentation uh, after we do some classroom visits while we eat lunch today. Um, Amanda Rice is, is to her left, and she's our director of student services. She's also our athletic director. And we also have Trisha, Alla, Trisha Sutton. Sorry. Trisha Alexander. Alex. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> She's our head of guidance. Thank you, Trisha. So, a couple things I want to uh, review with you just briefly, and then I, I want to get you some classrooms because uh, you want to see some things, see what the kids are doing. What I, what I have for you today, if I just borrow yours, Mr. Snyder, something to take with you, uh, just a real uh, brief summary of some things that we're doing here at the Cal Middle School gives you a nice you know overview of some things certainly we could spend all day talking about things probably in each building there's never enough time but we want to make the visit as, as engaging as possible and we feel like you're getting in some classrooms talking to some kids seeing some things that they're doing would be much better than listening to me for the next half hour as much as I like to talk and most people will tell you that that yeah that's that's what I like to do right Daniel um, I do want to. Uh, one of the things, that, one of the things I do want to point out. Uh, one of the, a lot of things that we get asked in middle school is, well, what are you doing to prepare kids for the next level? Some of you may have heard a little bit if you've been following the news over the last year, and, and you might hear a little bit more about this at the high school. I'm not sure what they have prepared for you today, but they've the state has recently changed a lot of the graduation requirements that is going, that are going to affect our eighth graders. So we. We've, we've, we're, we're watching those things, and, and the state still hasn't figured it all out yet. We're waiting, and we're watching the memos and the emails that come out and the guidance that they're giving us. But we certainly have tried to do our best to be as proactive as we can. We want to prepare our kids for the next level. So there is, uh, 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 on the inside of your pamphlet, there's a short section on some things that we have done just in the last year. And if you've been on our Pathway to Brief, Tour before. I know we did do those a few years ago. Some of you may have been to that or not. Or if you had some kids in the middle school a few years ago, things have changed quite a bit for a short period of time. So I just want to call your attention to that. Some of these things you will be seeing today, but we have added our high ability curriculum for math and language arts over just beginning last year. Uh, and they, we've done that district wide. We're real proud of that. We have a lot of new technology classes. We will. Some of you will get to visit that room depending on time. And that's actually right next door with Mr. Rensler. Those classes were really popular. They filled up, and we, we actually had to tell some kids, I'm sorry, we're, we're full. But we did our best to squeeze in as many as we could. Uh, we also have a lot of courses for high school credit. We felt it's really important because of the new rigorous pathway requirements and the added requirements our students are going to have to be doing. Getting an early start on those requirements is a great, a great benefit to our students. And also, because we also don't want those requirements to affect their ability to do a lot of the other important things, extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities, some, some of our students need to work, some of them want to work, and those are all good things. So just wanted to draw your attention to that. Last thing I'll do, and I'll, I'll be quiet and we'll get on our tours. Uh, each of you have one of these uh, wooden nickels. Anybody remember wooden nickel from Fort Wayne? Or, uh, you, know, you know, they still have wooden nickel. I didn't know that store was still open. There's one out southwest by Child's Restaurant. If you've ever been there. Uh, I think Tom Spies, that Spies did, um, didn't he have these like for yeah. jeans? You could turn the jeans in. Remember Spies in Fort Wayne? Gosh, that was a long time ago. Um, what we do here, you know, of course we do have some discipline from time to time, the middle school, very rare for middle schoolers to act up, right? and they're very rare, but we really do our best to be proactive and part of our climate and culture, our, our PBIS, our positive behavior and interventions are these barren bucks. So I gave you two, we've done this, this will be our third year for barren bucks, the black one with the black barren head on the back. You see it says, do the right thing, treat people right, which is our building-wide motto and our, our, our building-wide expectations for our kids. And we encourage our teachers to catch kids in the act of doing the right thing and treat people right, random acts of kindness. You might, you know, and so we give these out to these kids and remind them, hey, this, that was great. You did a great thing there. If someone dropped their books, you stopped in the middle of the hallway, busy hallway, helped them pick them up. And, and uh, this year, we changed it a little bit. We still accept the old coins. It's an amazing economy that's that's we've created here with these coins. <laughs> but it's, it's a good economic study and a monetary system. Uh, on the back here, we said we have we changed it a little bit just to differentiate. We made it red. Says be the reason again. Encourage the kids to be the reason. Someone else had a great day. Kids can exchange these throughout the day at different things in our cafeteria. There's things that they can buy. If you walk by some of our 
uh, drinking fountains, you'll see a sign that, that shows you know how many barren bucks for this, how many barren bucks for that. They can get some things in a lunchroom. Usually it's a treat, so it might be an ice cream or a slushy or a cookie or something like that. Something they really want. Not just they, we give them the apples with the lunch, so they don't have to use the barren buck to buy the apple. But some of the fun treats they get to do uh, with the barren bucks. We also we just had a dance. We let kids use. We charge five dollars for our dance. But kids that had enough Baron Bucks got in with their Baron Bucks. They can come to events, they get a popcorn at an event. So we also have a big raffle when we do our student appreciation. We have staff appreciation, we also have student appreciation, which was really popular last year. First time we've ever done that. We had a big raffle. Kids could buy raffle tickets and we had some pretty neat prizes uh, for them. Did anybody buy any popcorn this year from any of our kids? Nobody? Okay, well, we, that's where we get the money for a lot of these incentives is from our fundraiser. We have so we can sell those in the black market before we leave today? There <laughs> is a, I'm going to call it a, I'm going to call it a gray market. <laughs> but kids have been known to purchase these for the raffle because there's some really nice items on the raffle. So they, and we don't encourage that, but, but uh, they do it. We hear it, but we hear stories. Uh, but I'd encourage you if you see some kids, you may not, we're not, a lot of this happens in the hallway before and after school when there's more of a, a lot of kids in one space. But if you carry these around with you today, and I encourage you if you see some kids doing some things that stand out, give them a barren buck. They'd love that. They know exactly what this means. If, if you don't, that's okay. Keep them as a souvenir of your visit today. Um, let me, uh, we've got, I know I had my sheet. Okay, we're going to get you started on some tours because we do have a nice lunch prepared for you at about 11.30. That gives us about 40 minutes. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask, uh, 